why you shouldn't grade your own work. I got a really good lesson this week and reminder as to why you shouldn't grade your own work. I was wondering why my website wasn't doing as well as I'd hoped it would. And so I went out to some agency who specialised in you know, blasting your site out to a number of people and they, they're asked to perform certain tasks and generally give an impression of, of what they think. And the feedback that came back was really fascinating, really helpful, and it, it's completely changed uh, the trajectory of the next couple of weeks for me at least in terms of where I'm going to put my focus and effort. And it just got me thinking, you know, this applies to so many things, whether it's you're applying for a job, um, whether, it's your, whether it's your own work in work, whether it's how you're dealing with people, um, you need external validation, feedback, criticism, and obviously it needs to be constructive, it needs to be something you can act upon. If it's just someone putting down what you've done without any um, indication of what a solution might be, or if they're just doing it vindictively, yeah, I mean, you tell them to go to hell. But, um, you know, if you're applying for jobs and it's a CV, you're not getting getting anywhere or maybe you're just not sure um, if it's right throw it out to some of your friends even if they've never hired someone themselves they're going to have an opinion on it they're going to be able to um, give some feedback I mean I wouldn't say always go to a career coach or um, you know a, a person working in that sphere who, who specializes in helping you but you know if you're not getting anywhere at all in the freeway through your friends try it I mean uh, Usually those things can be done for under a hundred dollars, hundred pounds. Um, you know, if it saves you two weeks, oof, I mean, no matter how broke you are, the the cost benefit starts to make sense at that stage. You know, whether it's um, maybe it's emails you're sending in work and they're they're a little bit a little bit saucy. You're finding you're getting bad reaction off them. Well, share them with someone you can trust. Um, ask them what they think. Maybe your tone is way off. Maybe they know something about you that, you know, as your friend, perhaps, that you are less aware of um, and they can point it out to you, a, a slight flaw, perhaps, in your otherwise wonderful personality. But, yeah, I mean, this, look, this video isn't particularly complicated. External feedback, don't grade your own work. Um, at any point, if you're not getting the results you'd hoped for, sure, do some... Do some um, analysis of your own but you're never going to see what someone else will see the things that these guys fed back to me on my website the, the irony here is I've spent the last few years reviewing those types of things on other people's websites and because I was too close to it I wasn't seeing them on my own and um, you know I, I guess if anything that's another lesson in in being humble don't assume because you've done it because you're supposedly an expert in it that you're not going to benefit from other people's feedback. So don't grade your own work. And if you've got no one to grade your own work, maybe go to techherds.com. We'll help you.